Hey, my name is Chip Lasky. Um, I've got a background in military special operations and uh, currently I'm the Senior Director of Business Development at Unity Tactical. Uh, on the side, I'm also one of the instructors for TNBC. I've been using night vision now for uh, 25 years <laughs> um, and, uh, and applying it to combat arms. Um, it's, uh, it's technology that is unlike anything else. Uh, you know, you start looking at the ability to, to fight during the day versus fight at night. You know, I mean, as human beings, we're diarrheal creatures, not nocturnal. Um, you know, our, our world gets real small real quick. Uh, when it gets uh, dark out, <clears throat> you know, Mother Nature turns out the lights and we want to go inside. We get fearful um, because we can't see. You know, we got a lot more vision during the day than we do at night. Um, so we want to go naturally into a more protective state. So we're going to go inside, we're going to lock the doors, going to kind of hunker down until the, the sun comes back up and then we can see again. And, um, you know, that is just kind of a weakness of the human condition when it comes to armed conflict. So when you give us the ability, give the good guys the ability to see in the dark, we can now exploit people's, uh, you know, fear of that dark because now we can start moving around. We we can start getting in closer. Um, you know, we're we're fighting on our terms. We we set the time, the place, uh, and the conditions for that fight, and really stack the deck in our favor. Uh, it it starts to get a little bit more complex when your adversary also has night vision, and whether you're a domestic concerned citizen. Um, uh, law enforcement or a warfighter that deploys overseas, night vision and the ability to see in the dark or at least pick up infrared energy is becoming a lot more prevalent. Uh, the commercial market, I mean, hog hunting, coyote hunting, things like that have really pushed a lot of consumers who otherwise, you know, a few, few years ago might have thought that they never could afford night vision, um, really started pushing them into that market. And, uh, you know, as, uh, as the good guys, as, as good law-abiding, uh, gun-toting, Second Amendment-loving civilians, and then also as the good guys in law enforcement, it's something that we've got to be really cognizant of. Um, overseas, you know, 2002, it, it was early on that Taliban, Al-Qaeda, uh, they started figuring out ways to, to not necessarily combat our night vision capabilities as NATO countries, but um, at least to be able to see in the dark to a, a certain extent. And some night vision is better than no night vision. And obviously, uh, there's a lot of grades of night vision out there. You know, you got uh, uh, cheaper Gen 1 stuff, a lot of things coming over from Eastern Bloc countries, um, you know, that are gonna cost a few hundred bucks up to maybe a thousand dollars. And when I say cheaper, it's relative. I mean, you know, a uh, thousand bucks is a thousand bucks. It's a lot of money. Um, but when you start looking at the the pricing to get into things like uh, <clears throat> current generation three U.S. technology and uh, you know going from uh, a single monocular to a binocular or or beyond uh, and fusion technology uh, technology it it starts getting a lot uh, a lot more complex a lot more expensive um, and obviously better systems are going to give you better results but you still have to be cognizant of the fact that things as simple as ring doorbell cameras, um, you know, home security systems, uh, trail and game cameras for hunters, uh, cell phones, all that stuff can pick up IR energy. So just because, you know, there's, there's that saying out there that says we own the night doesn't necessarily mean that we actually do. So you need to have the training and understanding uh, of those limitations of technology so that you can actually exploit the darkness and have it be your ally because if you don't know what you're doing, you could have the most expensive, latest, greatest tier one special mission unit equipment and uh, and still fall flat on your ass because, uh, you know, you don't know what you're doing in the dark. Like I alluded to earlier, um, the ability to see in the dark puts us more in control. We can control the uh, the variables a little bit more. We can control our, uh, our, our time. Uh, we can get closer into targets. Um, and, and really stack that deck in our favor. So we, we have more control over when that fight's gonna occur. You know, there, there's that, uh, that saying that uh, don't let that shooting turn into a gunfight. You know, it's better when the good guys can lay out the bad guys and nothing's coming back at us. 
you know, but sometimes you're going to have that exchange and that two way range is a, a bad place to be no matter what the conditions. Um, but, uh, but at night, because of certain technologies that are available to us, uh, we can set the tone. Uh, the daytime, things are a lot more immediate. And it's just because the fact that everyone's on the same playing field, you know, I mean, the bad guys can see in the light, we can see in the light. So things have to be a lot more immediate, a lot more kinetic. Um, a lot of times uh, in, in my past life, when we would be uh, conducting daytime assaults, um, we'd have to kind of show up on the X, you know, whether that's little bird insertion, right there, faster open out of other types of aerial platforms, coming up in armored vehicles and rolling in heavy and violent. Uh, because as soon as the, the helicopters could be heard, um, you know, or as soon as we were seen by lookouts or scouts or, you know, vehicles, whatever, uh, that clock is ticking. And it's given the bad guys that chance to say, all right, you know, get ready. And, um, you know, we, we want to take them by surprise as, as much as possible. So at the end of the day, when, uh, when we're looking at it at night, you know, those vehicles, we can get closer, um, we can walk in. Um, it's just, it's one of those things that all those variables are much more under our control.